Hi friends, today let's try to understand what Java class path is. In our previous video, we learned how to compile and run Java program without using IDE. If you haven't seen that video, the link is at the bottom of this video. Okay, let's uh, try to understand class path 2 without using IDE so we understand what's happening behind the scenes. Let's have a quick recap. In the previous video, we created a simple Hello World uh, program, set the uh, Java compiler path to the path environment variable, compiled the program using Java C compiler, and executed with Java command. We learned that when we try to compile the program with Java C compiler, the operating system will try to find the compiler in the folder where the program is being compiled and if it's not found there then it will go to the location set in the path environment variable to find the compiler. Let's start with the same hello world program we used previously. Let's open command prompt and uh, compile and execute it. Okay, so this is working. Okay, now coming back to the class path, the class path is something similar to the path environment variable. The path environment variable is to point to the executables, whereas class path is to point to the Java class files. Let's try to understand this with the help of packages. I'm going to make our hello world class part of a package. Now, when you save this, it needs to be saved in a folder which has the same name as the package name which is uh, p1 in our case. Now let's try to compile and execute and see what happens. Okay, so we are able to compile successfully. Now let's try to run it. So what just happened? Okay, so when we when you make a class part of a package while running it, you need to add the package name along with the class name while referring it. Hmm. It's still not working. The problem is now that we added the package name along with the class name, it's trying to find the class in the folder p1 from the current location. Since we are already inside p1 folder, it could not locate it. Now let me just go back to the parent folder and try. Okay, so now Java runtime could find folder p1 and is able to execute it successfully. Okay, so far so good. Now, what if you want to refer or execute your class from any location? This is where class path comes into the picture. Once you set the class path to the location of your class file, you can refer or execute it from any location. 
Okay, let's try it. So this is how you set the class path. Okay, now that it's set, let's try it again. Okay, so it's working. Now let me go to the folder P1 and try. Okay, so it's working from here too. Now let me go back to some other location. Okay, so as you can see, it's working fine from here too. So that's it. So just to recap, the path environment variable is for your system environment to locate the executable, whereas the class path is for the Java environment to locate the classes, the class files. Happy coding.